high, 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 five highs from Y, with grace. My name is Wyvonia Woods Harris, and I am talking today about premarital counseling along with relationship coaching. I recently was honored to be asked to co-officiate a wedding along with doing premarital coaching as a part of my relationship coaching section. I normally talk about in these sections the grief of a situation that we find ourselves in. But today I'm glad to say that I'm going to be discussing the strength and the bond of two young people as they continue to work towards their marriage, which will take place in August. I decided that I wanted to use the book from Jill, Jim Walkup. Uh, Jim has written a book called I Do, a marriage workbook for engaged couple. So I've been sharing with the couple over the last couple of months about how we would strategize and bring this to a completion. But then I thought about it. I'm not going to bring it to a completion. It's just going to be a part of the relationship because they gained me as their relationship coach for the rest of my life. And hopefully the things that they gain will bring into their life. Now, how do I speak about uh, relationship coaching and premarital coaching? As a married widow of more than 44 years, along with my degree in nursing, my degree in community health, a master's, and also my degree in a Master of Divinity, and a Doctorate of Ministry. I wanted to bring this to be very comfortable for them. Sometimes when you are, you think you know people, you will realize that when you sit down with them and you actually listen to some of the things that have gone on in their life, it gives you a beautiful strategy to continue with premarital counseling. Now, as I said, I am using the book, uh, I Do, a marriage workbook for engaged couples. So I shared with them, first of all, what we're going to do is really look at the commitment and the relationship rules that each one of us will be studying doing this premarital coaching. And one of the things that Jim Walker set, talks about is having to follow rules and what we promise to each other with respect. And so these are the things that I felt like we needed to start with as we start this, this counseling. Now, I just recently have been emailing and also texting them with some of the rules that we have to get through in order for the premarital coaching to work for them. And I know that they're very busy. This is uh, less than a month before the wedding, but I have said to them, in order for this premarital coaching to work, you have to be committed. So I sent emails out today, also text, uh, and wanted to set up time to meet with the other co-officiant and uh, myself along with the couple. We are interested in making sure that they have all of their forms in place, all of the information in order to get their marriage license, along with it being a true relationship coaching situation as we get ready for the wedding. Sometimes we think about uh, things that we learn 
over the years. Now, I have been able to do weddings along with premarital coaching before, and I've learned lessons from each time that I have participated uh, in the events. And today I wanted to just take time to say that a wedding ceremony is beautiful, but a marriage is long lasting and in a, more than an event, it truly is an experience. So today I wanted to just take time to talk about some of the things that I want to happen as I help this couple and I say that they are becoming the Browns. They are becoming the Browns. And with that comes the fact that we will be building a platform to follow, and we will also be building a team. And the relationship commitment is going to be the first part of this counseling. I have a relationship with this couple, and so I, I'm going to try to look at the couple from the fact that I am their coach. And with a coach, as you know, any coaching situation, it changes, it's very fluent, and I want to be available for any problem, any situation, and all of the time, happy times uh, that will come forth from this marriage. We sometimes we look at our ability based on our experience, based on our education, based on all of the events that have come before. I wanted to just make it comfortable for the couple to be able to share information, to be able to look at how they're going to move forward uh, in this marriage, knowing that it, it goes way beyond that marriage day, that wedding ceremony, and even the reception. It goes beyond that. This couple is experienced. They're an older couple. They're in their 30s. So a lot of the things that we will be discussing are things that they've already discussed among themselves. And I just want to reiterate how important it is that this coaching continues and it be based on what their needs are and what they want to get out of this uh, session, out of these sessions. The plan is that I will meet with them on five different times to discuss the sessions and then we will have a Zoom meeting along with the coefficient uh, and discuss any things that might be pertinent or that might be a barrier to the wedding and the ceremony and their, their life together. So in building the Browns and bringing them to a stage of becoming day in and day out, I wanted to talk to them about the situations such as Jim Walkup has given in his book. One of the things that I'm really interested in is them being able to agree on uh, several items that he talks about. I'm going to read those items as I will be sharing them again and again with this couple. We promise to eat, treat each other with respect. We will set time for each other on a daily basis to catch up on our lives. We will not let unfinished arguments linger. After a pause, we will follow up with each other to resolve these problems. We commit to being honest with each other. We will allow each other to change and grow. We will honor the aspects of privacy we have agreed on. We will not put each other down in public. 
and I will ask them to agree on these relationship rules. So my counseling and coaching is based on the Christian aspect of SOAR. This is a strategy that I have developed over the years that includes prayer, scripture, opportunities, application, and reward. I spell it P-S-A-L-M-S, Psalms, and P-S-O-A-R, Soar. I put these together in getting the plan for the premarital counseling and coaching for the relationship coaching that I will continue to do. And hopefully they will realize how important it is to always be learning each other, always be respecting each other, and always be committed to each other. So this is the section that I wanted to do in a 12 minute session today as I continue to help give them ideas and help them after listening to whatever things that they would like to share that they think will help the wedding, that they think will help the lifetime marriage. I speak from a 44 year marriage and I feel like I do, I, I am able, I do, uh, they give some of the things that they will need for this time. So again, I am Wyvonia Woods Harris, author of several books. The last book being Redeeming Grace, Look How Far God Has Brought Us. That is the foundation for this coaching, for the facilitating and for making this day so precious and special to them. So I'm saying it again. I'm Y. Woods Harris. If you would like to purchase my books, they're on Amazon. The last one, Redeeming Grace, Look How Far God Has Brought Us. And also the one on the skies of myself, soul and spirit where I use Psalms as a foundation to talk about relationships and how important it is to stay in relationship with each other. Have a wonderful day.